See, we have been manufacturing engines at Noida for the last many years. So we have been manufacturing tier 3 engines for the local market application as well as for the export, mainly for the tractors, those are being exported out of India. Uh, so far, we have been importing uh, the engines for the US market, the tractors, those go to US markets. Now with the emission norms getting implemented, with the tram 5 emission norms getting implemented, where we see there will be reduction in the PM, there will be reduction in NOx also, uh, as per the tram 5 regulations. Uh, as per the draft uh, notification, this is likely to be implemented from April 2026. So we are preparing for that. And for that purpose, this F28 engine uh, that has been launched now. Uh, we did it a bit earlier uh, than uh, some of the other players because we wanted to use this engine for the construction application also. And construction, this is getting implemented from 1st of January this year rather, it's already done. So uh, we have also, also started using this engine on our construction uh, uh, products, construction vehicles. Uh, so this is a 2.8 liters engine, very high torque, more than 25 percent uh, torque advantage against uh, any any ordinary engine and also very good SFC. So the fuel consumption one can expect that even the engines that we are using today we should see a better SFC in this engine. We also call as a green engine because this engine can tomorrow be also used for gas with certain modification. This can also be used with the gas as a fuel. This can also be used as a hybrid engine. So compact Powerful engine, state of the art, I would say, unmatched, unparalleled. See, uh, naturally, we understand uh, that uh, with the Tram 5, uh, there will there is going to be some increase in the cost. Manufacturing cost will naturally go up because of the technology that is being used. But on the other hand, it also brings in certain benefits, especially in terms of the technology, as we just now talked about. Uh, I feel. Uh, the customer is will definitely benefit out of this technology uh, mainly on account of the the performance of the engine this engine is uh, really uh, top notch the high torque and also the backup torque is very very heavy uh, very high for this engine which is really needed for uh, the applications uh, those our products actually uh, are used for then secondly, with the SFC reduction, with the fuel consumption reduction, I believe the customer stands to benefit a lot. So the payback should also uh, be relatively, uh, relatively very easy. In, in certain sense, it should be fast payback for the customer with this kind of a technology, this kind of an SFC. Uh, even on the field performance also, we will see uh, the output and the time that is uh, used on the field by the equipment that will be much less than the ordinary engine. CN has operated with four regions in the past. Now India has been made a separate fifth region. The purpose of making India as a fifth region is to leverage on the strength that India has and also its growing economy. CNH has been in India uh, for the last uh, more than 25 years as a New Holland brand. Uh, we are also in construction as Keys brand and we first time entered India in 1969 as a part of joint venture between Ford and Escorts. So we know India very well and we also understand the way the industry is growing and the way the government is now uh, working on doubling the farmer's income and also making India as the third largest economy in the world. Today India is the fifth largest economy in the world. And this is the fastest growing major economy. So considering this, the company decided to uh, make India as a separate region so that it can focus on India. It, it can look on the investment that is needed in India and how it can help to grow the business in India. Uh, so we have four pillars of this strategy. One is for the domestic market. So do it in India for India. The second is for the global market. Do in India for the global market means manufacture in India and we to, to see the export potential out of India. The third is we have an India Technology Center where more than 600 engineers even work today. So those engineers, uh, highly uh, competent engineers, they are working on designing not only the local product but also the uh, products those are being manufactured worldwide for CMH, not being used in India, being sold in the other markets 
but the engineers sitting here in ITC Gurgaon, they are supporting the development of the global products, supporting the global teams. Then the fourth pillar that we have, because we know India has a robust supply chain, uh, more than um, 17, 18 billion uh, dollars worth of components are being exported out of India. And we see that we can also contribute here a bit uh, by sourcing the components from the supply chain that India has for uh, the global needs. So we are already supplying from India for the global products, but we intend to increase it significantly rather manifold so that the supply chain from India also gains significantly. So overall, all these four pillars uh, we will work on to grow business in India. So we have been uh, very strong in certain markets and certain areas we see that yes, our reach is a little limited. So we now want to work with the existing network and also grow uh, in the areas where there are white spaces, where we had not been traditionally present. So we intend to grow our network, not only expand, but also to make it more effective by supporting them, by working very closely with them, by providing them best of the technologies available worldwide, because it is not only uh, the vehicles those we are manufacturing, uh, it is not only the products that we are manufacturing, also the technology that we can provide. So from that point of view also, we want to enable them with a the new technology, with the processes that we follow worldwide, uh, NPS, uh, Net Promoter Score, uh, the customer satisfaction, uh, the purchasing experience, the reliability uh, improvements. So all those things, we work very closely with our network to enable them to expand and also to cover the white spaces. So we already have uh, our own financial arm that is CNH Capital. So CNH Capital was set up in 2018. CNH Capital provides uh, wholesale uh, funding. It also uh, does the retail funding. CNH Capital today has close to 26-27% of the retail penetration. And the rest of the, the market, uh, the our market is basically supported by uh, the non-captive financiers, uh, the NBFCs, the banks, and also there is some cash element, uh, the people who buy, like to buy on cash. So with the NBFCs, we are working very closely and we also intend to grow the penetration of CNH capital. So because both have to coexist, that's what I believe. They have to work hand in hand in order to help our business grow. So sustainability remains the key for us. So one is for, for the, you know, from at a national level uh, to support the government in its initiatives. Uh, we are working on the bailing solutions, so spread of the bailing solutions so that people are able to uh, bail the stubble in the fields. So that's what we are working on. We are bringing in good technology uh, to be available with the farmer in order to help them uh, bail the stubble and use it for gas application, for the power application. That's, for, that's one intent. Second is also on the manufacturing front. Uh, Noida plant where we are today, we are using the solar power and now we want to even expand this also. We are uh, planning to do in a similar way, rather it has already started in Pithampur plant and then we also intend to do at Pune so that we start using uh, the solar power uh, in whatever capacity is possible based on the roof size that we have. And then as I said, the bailing, the Tram 5 solutions, even for the, the bigger tractors that we are bringing into India, uh, 200 HP plus tractors, even those are also uh, term 4 or term 5 compliant. So this is where we wish to contribute.